Anyway, looks all right. Hey, it's Annie. I feel like I hear my face. Ooh, there it goes already. I'm seeing my transfer of my mascara already. It hasn't even been that many hours. <laughs> hey, it's Annie. Today I thought it would be fun to share some of my favorites. These are things that I don't think I've shared with you before that are my favorites. And this isn't just makeup. This is just random stuff that I use that I really enjoy. So before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Just click that button below and hit the subscribe button and make sure you click on that bell too. If you're on your phone, you just click the bell. And if you're on your desktop, click the bell and then check the box because anytime I have a new video, you'll be notified. All right. And I share a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the month of October. It's every day and I may no, I, may. I am. I'm going to go after this month. I'm going to go. I'm going to start doing a new video Monday through Friday. And I'm going to start a new series too. So I'm really excited about that. All right, let's get into this. Like I said, this is just a variety of stuff. None of this is sponsored. I want to fix my shirt here. I want one of those shirts that have a little. I love these. Especially on day like today where it's kind of cool and it's like, you know. And this is, I hope this shows up okay on video. This is that um, Free People shirt. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have two. And I notice they have more colors. I want to get another one, but it's like, no. <laughs> you have to stop. I don't want to have too many of the same thing. But look at how cute this is. Well, you can't see. See how cute? I love how loose it is and just, I don't know. I just love it. It's just, I love it. It's so cozy and comfortable. I love it. I love to burn candles this time of the year. I love burning candles this time of the year. And I am a candle snob. And I'm actually going to show you some something that I don't know if it is my favorite, but I'm going to share it with you and maybe it will be my favorite. But my favorite candles, I love Chesapeake Bay candles. You can purchase those at Target. Um, but my other favorite candles are Lydia Lights. And I don't have one in front of me because I don't have one right now. So I probably shouldn't have put that in here. But I do love those candles. And I'll have to get another one. They're just like a boutique candle, but you can order them online. Oh my gosh, I love those. My favorite is the um, Belgium, I think it's called Belgian, Belgian Linen, uh, French Lavender. And I think there's one called Sea Salt. That like, when you smell it, you think of the beach. I love those candles they burn clean they're soy and they burn all the way down so you don't have that I hate when you get that hollow around it burns clean so you feel like you get your money's worth I mean it go, burns all the way down I love that another candle that I love and it's also soy based is from Swan Creek it's Swan Creek candles and so I have one oh my gosh this one smells so good so the ones that I've been finding now, this is from a boutique that's in a town near us. Um, and that's where I've seen these candles. You can order them online too. So if I find a link, I will put it below. But again, these candles smell so good. They burn clean. See, see how it burns? You don't have that like little pit in there. I hate that because I feel like you, it gets wasted, but it smells so yummy. This is a new scent for me too. I can't remember. I think it's, um, here, let me see what it is. I can't remember what it's called. This one's a Le Petit Macaroon and it smells yummy. It has like a vanilla smell, like a cookie vanilla smell just smells so yummy. So when you burn these, it smells nice in your house. I don't like when you, you find a candle and you go, oh, it smells nice, but then you burn it and you're like, I can't smell it. I hate that. I really do. I used to love Yankee candles years ago. I don't like them anymore because when I burn them, I can't smell it. I want to smell the candles. So I love these candles. And one that I bought today, because I hear all the time, now years ago, I bought a Bath and Body Works candle and I didn't like it. I smelled in the store, smelled good. And I came home and I'm like, I can't smell it. So I bought a couple today because they were 50% off. One of them's downstairs and burning it. So, um, I don't know if this is my favorite yet because I don't, I don't know, but it's, this one smells amazing. The other one was, what is it called? I don't know what the other one is. It doesn't matter. We're going to talk about this one. 
I bought two candles because basically it's like they're $22 each, the candles, these. And this is, um, by the way, this one was $14, I believe. This one's a little more expensive. This one is a six ounce and it burns for 40 hours. This one is, um, it burns 25 to 45 hours, it says. And it's $22, but it was 50% off. So I bought two for the price of one, basically. So this one is sea salt and maple popcorn. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So if it smells as good as it does in here, I'm gonna be very happy. Yeah, so I will I will keep you updated. I don't know if this is my favorite. I don't know, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can't eat this anymore. I don't do sweets, so I indulge in the smell of candles and it's, I can smell it, but I'm not putting the calories on, so it's really good. Something that I enjoy. So there's some naughty things in here. What I mean naughty, and I'm gonna get back to Bath and Body Works because there's more from that. Let's just go, let's just finish Bath and Body Works and then I'll talk about other stuff that's food related. So I love the Bath and Body Works soaps and I love the foam ones because I feel like they last longer because you just need a pump and I just feel like they clean your hands really nice and they always smell nice and fresh and clean and I like that especially you know when I'm cooking sometimes you're touching onions or whatever and and I feel like or working in the garden or whatever and you know you don't want your hands to be all stanky so I really like their soap so these soaps now I can't say that I like these are my I get different flavors all the time. But since the fall was on sale, and fall really goes till the end of November, that's what I picked up. So I picked up pumpkin cupcake. Oh my goodness, it smells good. It smell good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it smells like cupcake. It smells like cupcake. Mmm, I love it. I love it. I love smells like this. So I got, I got a lot. I only have a couple in this bag here, but I bought like eight of them today. Um, and then the other one I got is Autumn Citrus and Sandalwood. That was a nice one. Again, these were 50% off. Mm -hmm. And I like that. I like saving money. Oh, I'm spilling it, girl. What are you doing? It smells so good. It's a nice, light citrusy and a little bit of a... almost smells like sage, but it's a sandalwood. I don't know, but it smells so yummy. So I bought... Uh, what did I buy? I bought eight soaps today. Uh, for 50%, I thought that it was good. Did I get soap all over me? Maybe I did. So whenever they have a sale, I usually go towards whatever's on sale or the clearance and just stock up. Even if it's an out of season, I don't really care. It's just soap. I don't get that weird about it because um, they're kind of a pricier soap, but we all enjoy it. Even my husband will say, oh, I really like this scent. He's not usually like that, but he, he really likes those soaps. Okay, so let me talk about some other things that are not, uh, that are off the Bath and Body Works. So sometimes I am naughty and I enjoy a little cocktail. And one of my favorites to buy, I mean, I don't often like get all the ingredients to make a margarita. Sometimes I just want one all made. My favorite is Skinny Girl. I love this skinny girl mix oh my gosh it is so delicious they have blue i'm pretty sure it's called blue agave right so it's made with blue agave silver tequila triple sec and oh my gosh it is so yummy i don't know how many calories in that. i don't even want to know but i don't drink this all the time this is like a special treat for mommy <laughs> mommy cocktail time and it is so delicious i love this margarita. If you like margaritas, now I haven't tried her Cosmo or anything because I'm not really, I don't really drink that much. Really all I drink is either a margarita or a glass of wine. That's pretty much it. I'm not a beer drinker um, and I'm just not, I'm not a big drinker. So if I drink something, it's either a glass of wine or a margarita. That's pretty much all I like. And that is delicioso. I love it. I've tried other mixes before, like I've tried uh, Jose Cuervo, and I think there's some other ones and I don't like them. I just feel like it just tastes really sweet. Like I, I wanna, I wanna taste a little bit of the tequila in it, although I don't want it to be like, whoa, you know what I mean? And this is a really nice balance of both. I just, oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. Then when I'm trying to be good and not naughty and not get a soda pop, and I think I've shared this before, but I love the LaCroix 
waters. I love it. They have zero sodium. They have zero calories. They have zero sugars. They have zero, it's just zero. <laughs> so if I feel like, you know, I feel like I don't want to just have plain water tonight, then I will have one of these and they are so delicious. This one is passion fruits. Um, I, I've had all pretty much all their flavors. I think there's a lemon one that's really, really good. Um, then they have some interesting flavors too that are good. I think there's one, isn't there like a cucumber or something? I don't know. They, I just love all them. Ras this is raspberry. No, this isn't raspberry, but I've had raspberry. Raspberry is really good too. But I love these because it's like, sometimes you want something other than regular water, but then it's sort of like having soda pop, but it isn't. It's better for you. So I love that. And then when I'm really being naughty, really being naughty and I'm having my little margarita here, my favorite chips. Now this isn't exactly my favorite ones, but they're the Tostito Cantina chips, but I like the thin ones. These are the traditional. These work better if you're eating, you know, you're eating guacamole um, because they, the other ones break, but they have the other ones that are really thin and they like melt in your mouth. Those are the ones that I like, even though they break when I'm eating them, those are the ones I like. But I always get these too because my, my husband doesn't like when they just keep breaking, so I always buy these for them. So good. So bad for you. I don't do that all the time. Uh, we had Mexican last week, so I made some guacamole. And so I had to have that with my margarita, of course. This is not food related, so we're gonna get off the food. This is a razor, and I don't even know if they make this one anymore, but let me just tell you, ladies, if you, I don't know what you used to shave. Now, I started using an electric razor years ago because when I would shave, I kept getting a rash, like with a straight razor, and I used to use a straight razor and shaving cream, and when I did that, I started getting like little bumps and rashes all the time. It was drying me out, and my dermatologist, dermatologist told me, you should be using an electric razor. So I've gone through so many over the years and I just don't think they make a nice woman's razor. I haven't found one. So I started using a man's. Mm -hmm. And this one is from Braun. Actually, my husband has one. I have one and my daughter, we all have the same one, but like we all mark our, so like mine has a little glitter polish on it. So we're traveling if, we usually keep our own stuff together, but just in case we don't, but this is the Braun 340S-4. It's a Series 3. I don't know if they make this anymore, but I love it because it's got that. Sometimes I need to use that. It's easy to clean. You charge it up and it lasts a long time and it gets really close. Like I feel like this gets so much closer and I get a cleaner, closer shave with this than I have with any other woman's electric razor ever. So I love this. I'm not, I don't want to get waxed because I don't know, one, I really don't like pain and I don't want somebody to put some hot wax on me and then rip it off. I don't know, I'm just not into pain. <laughs> Funny, right? Um, so I just like to just shave. Plus I don't like the fact that I'd have to grow my pit hair out and my legs hair out and like, I just don't wanna do that. So I would just rather shave. It's not really a big deal. Um, and this is a really, really good razor, I like this. And another thing that's my favorite, and you've seen me wear a lot of this stuff, is my jewelry. And I actually got another piece today, so I'm gonna show you. So this is from my friend Jeannie. I have two friends that make jewelry, my friend Cindy and my friend Jeannie. And they both have different style, but yet it's sort of similar because they're like do that vintage-y look, which I love. So this was made from a, a typewriter keyboard. And then she embellished it here around there and I added some uh, little embellishments here and then it has my little letter A for my name. It's so cute, right? Isn't that cute? I just love it. And this is something that she just started selling. I told her she's going to be getting a website soon and as soon as she does, I will link her information, but right now she doesn't. But these, this is actually for essential oils. I don't know if you've seen a lot of that. So basically what you do is you just rub the essential oils on here and then it smells amazing. But it's also really pretty too. And I like layering my pieces. So I just like that there layered with this. It's just really pretty. And then I'm gonna show you the other piece that, that I got from her today. Now, she also packages her stuff really, really cool. So she, like she took an old box or an old book 
epoxy that was falling apart and she just recycles it and uses it as her packaging. So she puts the necklaces on here. Isn't that cute? And then she has a little thing here that tells you about her and then her little card. That's usually how she um, packages her necklaces. And then it's also, also in a cellophane bag, which I took it out. And then it has a little bit of um, twine or lace or ribbon or whatever on there to close it. But look at this necklace. I'm going to get close so you can see it. It is so pretty. See that? Isn't that pretty with the little old dice? And this might have been like a shoe clip or something. I don't know what that was. But she finds old broken pieces of jewelry and then she just makes, creates her own pieces. Isn't that pretty? I just love all the detail in her pieces. And I like the chains that she uses and even on the back. Even on the back of it she has this little detail. But I like that you can adjust it. See how the chain is? So you can adjust it to, to your neck. So if you want to wear it higher or lower. I just love that. Isn't that pretty? One more thing that is my favorite, and this really could be a, an empty, so you might see this pop up again and empty because I saved it for it, but I'm just gonna share it with you anyways. I started doing um, masks on my face. I haven't used a lot of really expensive masks yet. Well, there is one that I did use, but it's not a sheet mask. Um, but I haven't, tr I haven't ventured into any really expensive sheet masks yet. But I don't know that you need to because so, so far I'm really impressed with these. Now these are from um, Tony Moly and I've gotten several of them at Ulta and I really, really love these. They don't have a big variety there. This one has a, a cer ceramide moisture cure. There's another one that I used that had, um, oh, I don't have it in front of me. I need to, I, I might have one in there. My, my area with all my skincare is a mess right now. But I know it was one that had an acid in it, and I can't remember what acid, but it's I did a review on it. If I can remember, I will link it. But I really love the masks that I've used so far. I think there was one that was like, eh, but I've used two. I've tried three, and I think out of the two, I'm I, at least like two out of the three. So they're not very expensive. I think they're four or five dollars each, which I don't think is expensive. You know, you only have to do this once a week. If you were on a tight budget, just do it once a month then at least, you know. But I really do like these masks very, very much. I want to try using one with my roller. I haven't done that yet. Um, if you missed that, my Jade Roller, make sure you watch that video if I remember that. I will try to link that <laughs> as well. So anytime you see that like flash up, that little, that little eye icon, just click on that. You can watch a video and then you can go back and you finish watching this video. So that's it. That's all I want to share with you. I just want to share some of my favorites. Um, and I will, I'm getting a pile together now of um, things that I'm using. Sometimes it takes me a while to get through stuff because I make sure I use everything up. And once I do, I will share like my empties. I love watching those videos because I really feel like you really can um, see if somebody really loves something, if they use it all up, or if they're like, oh, I don't really like it, I'm not even gonna use it up, but this is what I have left, so. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a big, up, big thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and let me know in the comments below, like, what's your favorite thing? What's your favorite, whatever, what's your favorite food or, you know, skincare, makeup, whatever. Like, if somebody said, what's your favorite? Leave that comment below because I'd like to know what your favorite whatever is, all right? And that is it. Oh, and make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I will leave the links below. And that is it. I will see you soon, guys. Bye.